What's up everyone? Welcome to Yoga with Adrian. I am Adrian and today on the channel we have a fierce practice, Shakti Flow. This is a vinyasa that's going to help you get into your body, step into your power and find what feels good. So hop into something comfy and let's get started. If you are ready, I am ready. Let's begin in a nice, comfortable seat about in the middle of your mat. Take a second to get settled in here. Sit up nice and tall. And when you're ready, close your eyes and lift your heart. Begin to notice how you feel in this moment. Now that you have started the video, you've rolled out your mat, now that you're here to take some time for yourself, how do you feel? You might gently rock your heart forward and back, forward and back, or find a gentle sway side to side. A little soft movement here as you begin to, again, settle in and allow the day thus far to melt away. And any task or to-do list that you have post-practice, allow it to be very politely put on the shelf. So we're gonna work to stay present here. Again, any little movement here that feels good eventually coming to a place of stillness with the head stacked over the heart and the heart stacked over the pelvis, sitting up as tall as you can, closing the eyes, relaxing the shoulders, and simply tuning in to what's going on today. Notice how you feel. And when you're ready, Take a deep breath in. Exhale to release. Big breath in through the nose. And perhaps finding a little ujjayi breath here. Together, let's choose to stick with our breath, move with the breath today, so that we can very kindly, gently, and effectively move the energy around in the body. Opening our minds, our hearts, and through our practice, our body to the true Shakti or empowerment All right, one more big breath in here. And we'll use the exhale to gently bow the chin to the chest, hands together at the heart. Choose to stick with your breath. Open your mind, your body, your heart to your true Shakti, your true power. And if there's anything else you wanna add on here, create a little intention for yourself or your practice, go ahead and do so, palms together at the heart. Head bowing forward. If I've lost you here, at the very least, I always say this in my classes, you're getting a grand neck stretch, shoulder blades drawing together. So take what works for you, leave what doesn't. Repeat your intention if you set one here, honoring the power of word and the power of thought. And then take a deep breath in, the deepest breath you've taken all day. And use your exhale to open the hands, open your eyes, lift the chin parallel to the sky. And let's rock and roll. All right, taking it forward onto all fours. 
take your time getting there. If you're tired, your body's heavy, maybe you've had a long day, your heart's a little tender, I got you, don't worry. Just try to stay present and we'll work again with a focus on the breath. So right away, big inhale as you come into tabletop position. Big exhale out. Keep that going as you work through your alignment. So today's practice is swift and fun. So if you're new to the practice or perhaps you're tending to something in your body, be super mindful, take breaks as you need. Remember, you're trying to come into your power. You're working to come into your power. So that's unique and special and beautiful. Uh, so tend to that, right? Take good care. We're coming into tabletop here, hugging the lower ribs in, sending the gaze straight down. I guess I was, I was about to go off on a rant and say, you know, not just the physical modifications, but you know, the, the mental and emotional too. Take care of your energy, right? Your energy today. Curl the toes under if you need to here, just for a couple breaths. And if the wrists are already starting to talk to you, press away from your yoga mat, hollow through the upper back body, send the tailbone out long, crown of the head towards the front edge of your mat, gaze straight down. When you're ready, press into the tops of the feet. So uncurl the toes, knees underneath the hips, wrists underneath the shoulders. And we're gonna press away from the yoga mat and let the knees hover for five seconds, just waking up this line from the crown to the tail. You might start to shake here, tremble, prana moving throughout the body. Then gently release the knees and move into cat-cow. Spinal flex, inhale, you drop the belly, heart opens forward. And exhale, we curl the tail under, rounding through, nice and slow here at first. Chin to chest. Inhale, drop the belly, tailbone towards the sky, open through the heart. Exhale, rounding through. Tailbone lengthens down, navel draws up, chin to chest. Keep it going here, move with your breath. Careful that you're not locked in the elbows, but a soft bend here. We can begin to send the hips to one side and then the other. Crown of the head counters the tailbone and any other movement that feels good here. So you might just stay within the structure of cat-cow or you might start to veer off the railroad tracks, check in with where the body is at today. So warming it up before we roll it up to standing. Take a moment here. You might come all the way to child's pose. You might come all the way forward, little baby cobra. Maybe sending the hips left to right or some circles in the hips. And then take this soft movement that you've created on your mat. Go for the gold. Checking in, shining a little light in the dark places as I like to say. And when you're ready, take this movement up with you and choreograph your way to downward facing dog, sending your center all the way up in space, hips up high, and then the heart melts back. Press into both palms evenly. Hug the lower ribs in just a hair, so we're not splaying out here in the ribs, but drawing them in, finding a containment, if you will, in the torso. If you haven't already, take your dog for a little walk. Stretching out through the legs. Again, pressing evenly through both palms. Then how's your breath? Return to the breath. Return to the breath. <laughs> Keep making that joke, it's bad. If you don't know return of the Mac, then you won't get that joke, but that's okay. It's probably for the best. Here we go, big breath in. Big breath out to look forward. We're gonna go for a nice slow walk. Draw the navel in and up, Uddiyana Bandha. So control through your center as you walk slowly towards the front edge of your mat. So there will come a point in, in, on this journey that you have to negotiate, and that's what it's all about, right? Negotiating things on the mat mindfully. We come into a forward fold. Feet hip width apart or flush together. It doesn't matter to me. Just find nice conscious footing. And when you arrive here, see if you can find something new. Really using today's practice 
to work on being present, present in the sensation, present with your breath, and present in the challenging moments as well. And then I'd like for you to release the arms if you had a bind and just find a soft sway. So focusing on a softness, even like a little feminine quality here, and that's for all men and women and children <laughs> and animals and pets. So when I say feminine energy, I'm not just talking about like, hey girl, hey, I'm talking about a softness, right? Just an energy, right? We're, we're talking about Shakti today, so we have to kind of address the feminine energy. And that exists in both man and woman, as does the masculine energy. So take a second to find that softness here. Then bend the knees quite generously. If you haven't already, just give the lower back some extra TLC. And then plant your feet strong, super mindful through the feet today. Really find that connection to the earth, that parabandha as you press into all four corners of the feet, draw energy up from the arches. And when you're ready, slowly roll it up. How slow can you go today? Eventually, the heart lifts up so high, crown of the head towards the sky, and we press into the feet, lengthen the tailbone down, and we come into our first beautiful mountain pose, or Tadasana. Go ahead and open the palms today. Draw the shoulder blades together really, really firmly. So really activating the upper back body here. Hug the lower ribs in, and see what happens if, without looking down, you lift the toes, engage the quads, so kind of lift the kneecaps here, that helps. And release the toes back down to the earth, and on a big inhale, reach for the sky. Draw energy up from your arches, big stretch here, volcano pose. On an exhale, ground down through the shoulders. Once again, see if you can activate the upper back body. For me, it helps to take a big beach ball overhead here rather than being really narrow. Inhale in. Exhale, bend the elbows, lift your heart, soft knees here, slight back bend as you open through the chest, look up. Then inhale, find that containment in the torso again as you reach up volcano. Exhale, palms come together, soft bend in the knees, bend at the waist and take it all the way down. Slow to start here, so nice and easy, move with your breath. Inhale, halfway lift. Your version, so palms on the tops of the thighs I recommend or the shins or fingertips on the mat. Enjoy your practice. Inhale, find length, long, beautiful neck. Remember that hovering move we did on all fours. Pull the elbows back and once again, activate the upper back body. On your next exhale, slide it down. Reach for the sky, press into all four corners of the feet, spread the fingertips super wide, hands like starfish here as we reach for the sky, lift the toes maybe, activate. Awesome, and then exhale, hands to the heart. Great, I'm gonna bring my feet together now, but you can keep yours hip width apart. Yogi's choice, listen to your body, listen to your heart, inhale. Exhale, relax the shoulders down. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, bend the elbows, thumbs back, pinkies forward, soft bend in the knees as we open through the chest, lift the chin. Inhale, back to center, hug the lower ribs in. Exhale, down we go, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, go through your checklist. And then exhale, all the way down. This time, plant the palms, bend the knees. We're gonna slide the right toes back, followed by the left. Come into our first plank pose together, don't panic. Spread the palms super wide. Move through your action points, hugging the lower ribs in, spiking the heels towards the back. Hips aren't sinking down, but really we're trying to create one nice long piece from the crown to the tail and from the hips to the heels. One more breath here, you got it. Then on an exhale, slowly lower the knees, cross the ankles, hug the elbows into the side body and gaze forward. Hug the lower belly in as you slowly lower down all the way to the belly. And inhale, lift up, baby cobra. So take a second here to pull the elbows back, press into your foundation, 
And if you're looking at the video, no prob, but go ahead and take your gaze forward when you're ready and just notice if you're kind of clenching in the back of the neck. So tuck the chin or send your gaze down a little bit and find length through the back of the neck. Warming up the muscles of the back body, big breath in, big breath out. One more big breath in here. And then use your exhale to slowly release. Curl the toes under, press all the way back up to plank. You can also come to all fours here and lift up from the tail. Otherwise, if you're in plank, hug the lower ribs in, send the hips up high, and we'll meet in downward facing dog. Inhale in. Exhale out. Drive the heels towards the earth. They don't have to come anywhere close to touching, just that action. Great. Drop the left heel when you're ready. Inhale, lift the left leg up high. Exhale, nose to knee, rounding forward. And step it up into a lunge. Lower the back knee, take your time. Make sure you're not on a tight rope, but two skis here. And then front knee over front ankle. Just take a second here to stretch, to breathe, relax the shoulders. And then notice if you're kind of rounding here or, or crouching over in the upper back body. Find length, activate the upper back body once again. If you need a little more, walk the left knee back. If you need a little less, walk it up. Big breaths. If you need a little extra padding here, you can double up on the mat or always use a blanket or a towel. Now connect to your center. Light a little fire in your belly. Interlace the fingertips and bring them up to the top of that right thigh. Come out of the pose a little bit and then find nice support here. Hugging the inner thighs to the midline and breathing deep. Great. Back toes stay curled under if you want. I recommend undoing them so I can find a nice strong root here because I'm gonna send the fingertips forward up and back. Maybe sink a little deeper, tug back through the right hip crease, lengthen tailbone down, big beach ball overhead, activate the upper back body. Then right hand's gonna grab the left wrist, sink up and over, squeeze the inner thighs to the midline as you send your left fingertips to the right. Try to draw your right shoulder towards your front knee and smile and breathe. Big stretch here. Inhale, lift the chin slightly. Exhale, back to center. We're gonna open the uh, heart up towards the left, almost like warrior two. And then I'm gonna take this action and keep turning as I bring my left toes to the right side of the mat. You can also do this with fingertips on the ground for more stability. And I'm moving into a gate pose variation here. So sending my left hand down to a block or to the earth. Straightening through the front leg. And then when you're ready, opening up through the right arm. Now remember that extension, that fire that we lit from the crown to the tail. So my neck is not hanging here, but I'm nice and long, shoulders tugging away. Breathe deep here. Last but not least, we can take the right fingertips and bring them all the way up and forward or towards what was the back edge of your mat here. Big breath. To come out of the posture, we'll round through, draw navel to spine, so connect to your center. Rounding through, using the fingertips like spiders to crawl all the way back to the front. Can you tell I used to teach kids yoga? It's like spider fingers all the time. Back to your nice low lunge. Great, inhale, look forward. Exhale, plant the palms, step it back. Come back to that plank pose nice and strong. This time, we're gonna keep the knees lifted, but you know that's always an option that you can lower them. We're gonna shift forward, hug the elbows into the side body, come all the way down to cobra or hover here, chaturanga. Lifting up, inhale, upward facing dog, or again, you have your cobra. On an exhale, we meet downward facing dog. Always an option to pause and stop on all fours, or send it straight up from down dog from your plank. You got it. So lots of options in the vinyasa here for you today. All right, here we go. Dropping the right heel down, inhale, lift the left leg up high. Exhale, nose to knee, rounding through, cultivate strength. Step it up into your lunge and then lower the right knee down. Front knee over front ankle, you got this. Notice if you're putting a ton of weight into your fingertips right away. So see if you can start to Activate, engage that energy from the pelvic floor all the way up through the spine. 
and just stretch here, breathe. If you need more, walk that uh, right knee back. If you need less, walk it up. Check front knee over front ankle. Open your heart, breathe, breathe, breathe. And when you're ready, find a nice grounding sensation in the back foot. So you can keep the toes curled under. Sometimes I've received feedback that sometimes this is more stable for others, um, but this is more stable for me. Foot down. When you're ready, reach the arms all the way up and overhead. Go ahead and come up out of the pose, especially if you're super flexible and bendy. Go ahead and come out so that you can find that connect of pulling left hip crease back. Stacking it up, finding your containment, your support, and then reaching fingertips up and overhead. Big breaths here, maybe big beach ball overhead. Then hug the inner thighs to the midline, really squeeze, almost as if you were trying to lift up from the center, a scissoring effect with the legs. And then we'll take the left hand this time, grab the right wrist, think up and over. Hug the lower ribs in and create space as you tilt to the left. Left shoulder slides forward. Open your heart, lift your chin, and keep breathing. Beautiful. One more breath here. You got it. And then slowly we'll bring the heart back up, and we're just going to open soft fingertips towards the right. Okay, you can use fingertips on the earth here for more support. And slowly we'll swing the right toes towards the left side of the mat and make our way to the back edge, right palm comes to the earth. Right underneath that shoulder, we straighten through the front leg and when you're ready, open it up. Big breaths. Staying connected through the feet. And when you're ready, you might just stay here or we'll take the left fingertips all the way up and overhead. Keep this left shoulder plugging in. Remember, upper back body nice and activated today throughout our practice. Big breath in. And listen to my voice. If you can't see the video, I got you. Draw the navel in. Hug the lower ribs in. Begin to soften through both knees. Left hand comes to the ground and we walk our hands or the spider fingers all the way back to the front. Find your nice low lunge stretch. Inhale, smile. Exhale, release. Palms come to the mat. We walk the left knee back in line with the right. Maybe you stay on all four or on the knees here. Or maybe you curl the toes under, come back up to your plane. Move through a vinyasa that feels good for you. You can always skip the vinyasa, moving with your breath. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. And then exhale, downward facing dog. So now the body's starting to get a little warm. We can find a little extra movement here in down dog and we can also find a grand stillness so it's just whatever your body is needing today play mix and match stick with your breath inhale look forward exhale bend the knees hop float jump to the top or simply step one foot behind the hand ragdoll inhale halfway lift nice flat back exhale soften and bow Inhale, bend the knees, reach for the sky, big full body stretch here, and exhale, hands to heart. Close your eyes, take a second to observe the breath. Here we go, soft knees, inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, stick with me. Exhale, bow. Bend the knees, step or hop it back, plank. Move through vinyasa, belly to cobra or chaturanga to upward facing dog. Take your time, no rush. We'll meet in downward facing dog, hips up high. Pressing into the fleshy part between the index finger and the thumb, drawing the shoulders away from the ears. Turn the two big toes in slightly just to find that inner thigh rotation spiraling out towards the back edge of your mat. Sit bones, sit bones shining left to right. Shake the head a little yes, a little no. And then when you're ready, drive the left heel down towards the earth, bend the right knee in towards center. Here we go, big inhale, straighten the right leg, lift it up. Keep the hips level and the nose to knee once again, rounding through on your exhale. 
great, step it up. This time, high lunge. So we find nice um, grounding through our feet. So find your footing before you roll it up. That's what I'm trying to say. Front knee over front ankle, and then connect to your center. Roll it up, nice high lunge. So sometimes we rush it, we get up here, and then we're trying to find our footing, and it's like, ooh. So find your footing first, and then roll it up strong. Big breath in, reach up, big beach ball overhead. Squeeze the inner thighs together. On an exhale, we're gonna take it to the right. Right fingertips are gonna go behind us. We twist to the right. Right hip crease is pulling back gently, lengthening the tailbone down. You can always lower on your back knee for this. It looks like this. Big breath in, big breath out. Turn the right thumbs down and inhale. Send the right fingertips Right thumb down towards the earth, left fingertips up high. You might grab the outer edge of your leg here. Front knee over front ankle. Inhale in, exhale. Pivot on the back foot. We're gonna open up warrior two to the left. Find strong warrior two legs here. Front heel in line with the back arch. Lengthen tailbone down. Deep stretch in the legs. Go for the gold here. Strong alignment, strong action, strong focus on your breath. Flip the right palm, inhale. Deep bend in that front knee as you reach forward, up and back. Peaceful warrior. And then all the way to extended side angle here, nice and slow. Right elbow on the top of the right thigh. Left fingertips all the way up towards the sky. You might take right fingertips all the way down. Find a little leverage here. Connect to your core, so don't collapse into the earth here, but really work to integrate belly. Inhale in, exhale all the way back to Peaceful Warrior. Find something new. And then all the way back to your lunge, car wheeling all the way back. Plant the palms, pivot on the feet, and we'll slide the right toes back to plank. Move through a vinyasa, move with your breath, find what feels good. From down dog, we'll take a big inhale in and a big exhale out through the mouth, let it go. Great, drop the right heel this time. Bend the left knee in towards center. Press into both palms evenly. And when you're ready, straightening through the left leg, inhale, lift it up. Exhale, nose to knee, connect to your power, your Shakti. Step it up nice and light. Beautiful and high lunge on the other side. Take your time, plant your feet. Gather your energy, and then drawing energy up from the earth here. High lunge. Send the fingertips up high. Remember, we can always lower that back knee here. Big beach ball up and overhead. Breathe deep. Inhale, lift your heart. Think up and over. Exhale, send it to the left left fingertips back. We twist. Breathe into your belly. Relax your shoulders down. And then turn the left thumb down just temporarily. And send the right fingertips all the way up and overhead. Left thumb continues down and we find big stretch here. Inhale, lift the heart. Beautiful, beautiful. Here we go, warrior two, inhale. Exhale, slowly unravel, pivot on the back foot. Stay connected to your center. And we open up to the right. Awesome work, everyone. Sink deep in, and when you're ready, smile. Flip the left palm up. Inhale, reach forward, up and back. Peaceful warrior. And extended side angle, nice and slow. Stay connected to your belly. So draw the navel in, hug the lower ribs in, and open up. Right fingertips to the sky. Shoulder blades drawing together here, really activating through the upper back body. Feel free to release left fingertips to the ground. Big breath. And back to Peaceful Warrior here. Front knee over front ankle. Reach. And then cartwheeling all the way back down. Awesome work. Plant the palms. Move through your vinyasa. Nice and slow and steady with the breath. Hips up high, heart melts back. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, walk, hop, or jump to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, soften and bow. 
Inhale, reach for the sky, press into your feet. Exhale, hands to heart. Take a hot second here, close your eyes. Life is good. Listen to your body. Notice how you feel. Remember your intention. Remember what called you to your mat today. Stay open, soft knees. Open the eyes, inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, down you go. Take up space this time. Inhale, halfway lift, long, beautiful neck. Exhale, soften and bow. Bend the knees, plant the palms. Maybe this time you hop it back, chaturanga. Lowering belly to cobra or up dog. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Just have fun giving yourself options to play. Be soft in your body. Here we go, dropping the left heel. Inhale, lift the right leg up high. Soften the skin of the face as you take right knee to right elbow. Try to touch it here. Upper body is in plank. Inhale, three-legged dog. Cross it over. So no tension in the face here, soft and easy. Kissing right knee to left elbow. Sorry, inhale, lift it up. And nose to knee, carving through. And step it up into your lunge. Once again, high lunge here, big breath in, moving with the breath, inhale. Big exhale takes you to the right, big twist. Inhale, reach left fingertips up and overhead. And exhale, open, warrior two. Inhale, peaceful warrior, reach forward, up and back. And exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Exhale, all the way back to your lunge, take your time. Plant the palms, slide the right toes back and move through your flow. From downward facing dog, take a deep inhale in through the nose. Big lion's breath, tongue out. Drop the right heel, keep the skin of the face soft and easy as you inhale, lift the left leg up high. Bend the left knee, left knee to left elbow. Here we go, cultivate strength, connect to your power. Gaze straight down, inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee to right elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog, press into the index finger and thumb. Now carve a line through center, navel draws up, nose to knee, hollow through the upper back body, and then step it up. High lunge on a big inhale. Find your foundation, inhale. Exhale, twist to the left, pull the left hip crease back, keep it soft. Inhale, right fingertips reach up and back. And exhale, warrior two, to the right. Beautiful, here we go, peaceful warrior. Inhale, reaching forward, up and back. Move with your breath, exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, peaceful warrior. And exhale all the way back down to your lunge. Plant the palms, step the left toes back, move through a vinyasa. You can always skip it. You can always take child's pose. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Beautiful, inhale, look forward. Bend the knees, lift the heels, find a little buoyancy, inhale in, exhale, hop to the top or step right up. Take a forward fold here and we're gonna be here for three breaths. So it's yogi's choice here. You can really interlace the fingertips behind the calves, bend the elbows left to right and activate or you can use this as a soft resting posture, soften the fingers. Make sure you're not holding on in the head or neck. Beautiful, then everyone bend your knees. Bend your knees so that your knees are stacked over the ankles or that's the intention and send your hips back. 
then swing the fingertips back, and then forward as you inhale, lift, hey plant, lift the heart, Utkatasana. So release any gripping in the neck, the face. Try to keep it soft. You might even open the palms a little bit here. Send the hips back even more. Beautiful. Sternum lifts to the thumbs. We inhale and exhale. Prayer twist, seated prayer twist, or Utkatasana prayer twist. <laughs> Cannot talk while I do this. Outer edge of the left arm to the right knee or right thigh. Sink deep here, strong breath. Then find length as you maybe open up to the right side. Breathing deep. And then on an exhale, your exhale, release back to center, straighten the legs. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, soften and bow. Again, on the other side, once again, take your time. I'm gonna give you a little second to breathe. Whenever you're ready, bending the knee, you're sending the hips back. Take your time today, soft and easy. Swing the fingertips back, and then with control, forward as we open the heart. Big breath in. What's up, plant? Open the chest. Palms come together. Anjali Mudra at the heart. We lift sternum to thumbs. And then think up and over as you take your prayer twist on the other side. So take your belly with you. Draw it up. Open the heart towards the left and sink a little bit deeper. Soft and easy in the sensory organs and muscles. Soft, no gripping. Breathing deep. And then on an exhale, be true to your breath. Take it back, forward fold. Gosh, my legs are tired from other yogas. So be kind to yourself. When you're ready, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, soften and bow. Tuck the chin into the chest and ragdoll once again all the way up. Take your time. As the heart lifts, loop the shoulders a couple times and draw big circles with the nose. One way and then the other. Ooh. And then when you're ready, we'll come to stand in the center of your mat. So hands come to the waistline here. We sit up nice and tall, a little superhero posture here as you open through the chest. Now would be a great time to take a little sip of water if you want. Wipe thy sweat off thy brow. Then we'll meet with the legs nice and wide, so just take a second to Catch your breath and then we'll meet here in a nice wide-legged standing posture, taking the big toes in and really activating through the outer edges of the feet super strong. Hands are still at the waistline. We lift up from the pelvic floor, so we're not just hanging out here in our joints, but we're really drawing energy up, hugging the muscle to the bone. Lengthen tailbone down. Think upward current of energy through the front body and nice grounding energy through the back body. Then once again, activate the upper back body, those muscles, draw the shoulder blades together, lift your chest even more. Then slowly, we'll send the tail towards the back, crown of the head towards the front. Hug the lower ribs and keep this knitted together strong as you come to a nice flat back. You might have to adjust your feet. Tuck the chin into the chest, take one deep breath here. Elbows try to draw back towards each other. And then slowly but surely, we'll release the fingertips either to a block, a chair, or to the earth. Big breath in, big breath out. Walk the left fingertips to the center, right below your chin, maybe left palm, and inhale. Pull imaginary bow and arrow all the way up towards the sky. Open your heart towards the right. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, slow and steady here. Right hand replaces the left. And same thing, pulling up through your bow and arrow all the way up towards the sky. Big stretch, inhale. And exhale, release, awesome. Walk the palms back underneath the shoulders and you either stay here for three breaths or you walk the palms slowly moving into the full posture, wide-legged forward fold. You walk the palms in line with the arches of the feet. Draw energy up through the inseam here of your leg 
And maybe in time we can get the crown of the head coming down towards a block or towards the earth. Take a moment to reconnect with your breath here. We have a foundations of yoga for this posture. I highly recommend it. Connect to your center. Uddiyana Bandha, draw the navel in and up. From there, we'll press into the outer edges of the feet and slowly begin to make our way back. Fingertips back underneath the shoulders, soft bend in the knees. Then here we go, send one hand to the waistline, then the other, and slowly we roll up. Sweet, hands are on the waistline. One leg at a time, I'm gonna draw the heel in, then the heel in, then toe. Toe, and this is that very fancy yoga term called heel toe, heel toe. You might hear it sometimes. I'm just gonna draw my legs in just a little bit. So they're right, they're not right underneath the shoulders, but just a little bit wider. Toes pointing out, heels pointing in. Big breath in again. Think upward current energy through the front body, grounding through the back as you bend your knees. Now knees are gonna want to splay in, so I'm gonna ground through all four corners of the feet, tops of the thighs roll out and down. So you can even use your hands to kind of play with the pelvis here, lengthening the tailbone down. So I try to not say tuck the pelvis anymore because I would do that and tighten my glutes. So see if you can just lengthen the tailbone down, keep it soft, maybe even a little sway here. <laughs> it's a little dorky, but getting that Shakti going on here. And definitely a powerful heating pose here as we prepare for goddess pose. Sometimes it's called horse pose. Also a really great foundations of yoga video, that, that posture, so go check it out. Okay, and then hands can stay on the waistline or we'll draw the palms together at the heart, active elbows. So instead of being here, really pressing the palms together, active elbows left to right. Wah, wah, wah. Shakti. Sink a, little, sink a little lower if you're feeling brave. Make sure you can see your front big toes. As opposed to your back big toes. <laughs> Inhale, lift your sternum to your thumbs. Legs are working hard, not gonna be here for long. Head over heart, heart over pelvis. Breathing deep. Maybe even you soften your gaze or close your eyes here for a second. Then interlace the fingertips, press the palms forward, up and back, and sink a little lower here as you inhale in. Exhale, bend at the elbows, cactus arms, goddess pose here. Press back with your palms, lift your heart, inhale in. And exhale, straighten the legs. Awesome work. Take a second to find a nice long exhale if you're feeling brave, lion's breath. Once again, fancy move, whoa, whoa, heel toe, heel toe. That's why you should do it one at a time and not together like I just did. Heel toe, heel toe the feet back together or you can also hop back to center. We'll find a nice samastitihi here. So feet really, really together. Lift the toes, ground down. And after this beautiful leg work, just draw energy up here and come into a nice still mountain pose. Yogi's choice, what you wanna do with the hands. So on the belly, on the heart, namaste. Make a choice, right? And see what feels good here. And when you have made a choice, Close your eyes and soften the skin of the face. Notice how you feel. Then nice and slow, feet stay exactly where they are. You don't even have to open your eyes for this. We'll inhale, reach for the sky all the way up. Bend the elbows and exhale, flow down. Soft and easy. Inhale to lift up halfway. And exhale, melting it down. Beautiful. From here, we're gonna bring the fingertips to the mat and bend the knees generously, slowly coming into a little ball here, rounding through the spine. Just kind of neutralizing through the spine, bending at the knee, chin to chest.
And then using the fingertips, we'll slowly bring it back. Come to seated, nice and slow. Soles of the feet will come together, knees nice and wide. Ankles, excuse me, hands to the ankles, and we loop the shoulders, sit up nice and tall, cobbler's pose, Baddha Konasana. So allow the shape to just kind of reside in the gravity, but allow your energy to be what's really precious here, drawing energy up through that center channel, the plumb line, grounding energy down through the tops of the thighs. And then when you're ready, you're gonna release the hands and draw them underneath the calf or the ankle here. Inhale in, connect to your core. And on an exhale, we're just gonna rock back just a little bit and lift the legs. Arms are gonna come underneath here. So first variation is to bring index finger and thumb together, keep the chest lifting. So heart is really lifting up towards the sky. That's why we need our energy up through that center line. And then the heels can come together here and we're gonna spread the toes out wide. So instead of doing Navasana today, we're just doing a little more of a creative version of core strengthener, lifting up through the chest. If this is not available to you, you can work here, here, so a little lotus core here, looping the shoulders, lifting the heart. Breathing deep. Lift the toes a little bit higher and lift your heart a little bit more. Beautiful, and then slow controlled movement to release. So first the hands are gonna release, palms together at the heart, namaste. Knees come together, inhale. Exhale, send the right leg out. Right elbow to left knee, keep your heart lifted soft and easy. Think goddess or god in the front body. And then back to center, inhale. And exhale, crossing over. And that's it, back to center, nice and slow. Take the hands behind the legs here, cross the ankles, sit up nice and tall. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, twist. One more time, soften your gaze or close your eyes. Inhale, lift and lengthen. And exhale, twist. Great, unravel back to center. Big breath in. Exhale, twist to the right. Don't crank, inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, explore the twist. And one more, light in the back fingertips, inhale. Beautiful, unravel it back. Send the legs out long. And slowly come onto your back, nice and slow. When you get there, take a big full body stretch, should feel awesome. Spread the fingertips, spread the toes. And then on an exhale, fingertips come down. We'll plant the palms and we're gonna slide the left leg up. So the left knee's up towards the sky and just a little figure four here, little reclined one-legged pigeon. So send the right leg up high, cross right ankle over the left. Thread the needle here, lifting the legs up. And today we're gonna press the left foot firmly into an imaginary wall here as you squeeze the legs up towards your chest. Commission your right elbow if it's there to help pressing that thigh out. And then soften the skin of the face, close your eyes and breathe deeply. Great, inhale, ground the shoulders down. Exhale, lift the nose up towards your shin. Inhale, release. Exhale, letting go. We'll switch to the other side, take your time. Whenever you're ready, left leg up high. Cross left ankle over the top of the right thigh. 
Thread the needle here, left fingertips go through the hole, and we find that flexion in the right foot here as we squeeze legs up towards the heart. And close your eyes and enjoy. Inhale, relax your shoulders down. Exhale, peel the nose up. Inhale, head back down. And exhale, release. Unravel the legs here. Take a second to just open the arms wide, big T shape here. And we're just gonna windshield wiper the legs to one side and then the other. So get a nice little massage on the glutes. Also a nice opening through the hip crease, the psoas. Just take it to the left, let it um, relax there for a couple breaths. And if you want, you can take the left ankle, cross it over the top of the right thigh if it feels okay, not directly on the knee, but on the thigh and give it a little more. Mindful of the knee, so brighten your right foot as you release. Come back through center. And then windshield wiper to the opposite side. Close your eyes, start to cool it down. Give thanks for this moment. Thanks for your body. We don't have much longer left on the mat, so I advise you, encourage you, invite you to stick with your breath, your life force. Definitely cleaning out some of the old stagnant energy with today's practice. So filling up with fresh air and using the exhale to wash away anything that is not serving you, any stagnant energy. Slowly releasing back to center. Walk the heels up towards the sits bones and bring the hands back down at your side. Palms press into the earth. Inhale, exhale, ground through the feet. Inhale, lifting up from the tail, press into all four corners of the feet. Try to send your sits bones towards the backs of your knees. So forward towards the backs of your knees rather than up towards the sky. Bridge pose. Snuggle the shoulder blades underneath the heart space. Interlace the fingertips super strong, my friends. And breathe deep. Squeeze the inner thighs towards each other. Imagine you have a block between your inner thighs. Again, tailbone towards the backs of the knees. And then lift your chest to your chin. And then lift your chin towards the sky. Should feel awesome in the upper back. Lift your chest to the chin, your chin towards the sky. One more big breath in here. Press your pinkies down. And then exhale, releasing the fingertips with control and slowly lowering down one single vertebrae at a time. Once the hips land, I pass the baton to you. Find what feels good here, maybe taking the palms to the knees and then taking the knees out long. Maybe you take a happy baby here. <sighs> Recline cobbler's pose. Or if wheel is in your practice, you might come into wheel. Back bend. Plow pose. Another 15 seconds of core, maybe with some yogi bicycle. So take one last moment to ask yourself what you need to fulfill that in body. And then we will meet in our final and most precious posture, Shavasana, legs extended out long, arms resting gently at your sides. So take your time getting there. No rush at all. So I'm just suggesting things here for your ending. On VHX, we have extended endings, so a lot of people request that. And that's nice, just to kind of guide you and help keep you grounded so that you are um, 
restoring after your practice. Take a second to close your eyes and allow for this moment of stillness. It's very easy to skip this part, so I invite you to take this and enjoy it, relish in it. Allow your breath to return back to its natural rhythm. So you no longer have to put any force or action behind your breath, just let it flow. If you can, spend a little bit of time here allowing the nutrients of your practice to settle in, to seep in. Allowing the body to grow soft and heavy. And the meridians of energy in the body, we call them the nadis in yoga. Not nadis, but nadis. Allowing them to find a balance, a synergy. Thank you so much for sharing your time and your energy and your practice with me and with the rest of the Yoga with Adrian community. If you made it this far through this practice, you are my hero. From my heart to yours, take good care. Namaste.